In today's video, oops, seven mistakes in servicing your chain. And you won't believe how popular and expensive these mistakes can be. Let's see. The first mistake is reusing the original pin. Why don't we do this? It's because each time that we push the pin into the chain, assembling the chain, we are actually breaking the pin, breaking off the edge of the pin. That's why we have all these little rings on our chain breaker. Let's remove all these and I'm going to show you something. Ooh, it doesn't come up that easily. Okay, that was the last one. And now that we don't have any leftover pieces of the pins, we can break another chain. Okay. Boom. Can you see this? This is the edge of the pin broken when being pushed into the chain. And so my old method from my teenage years when I didn't have money for tools and parts can be even dangerous because when you push this pin back into the chain it won't hold as it should. And so I would use this method only in the emergency situation somewhere in the middle of nowhere with no quick link, no special pin to close the chain and I would really try to pedal lightly when using this method. Mistake number two, improper quick link installation. The best example for that is the SRAM Eagle quick link, which is also shaped accordingly, which means this is wrong and this is correct. In addition to that, we have this arrow here, which indicates, be careful, it indicates the direction of the chain when you are pedaling forwards. That means this arrow is pointing and moving forward while it's above the chain stays. Mm -hmm. But it points and moves to the back when it's below the chain stays. One more thing about the quick links. Uh, for example, 12 speed Shimano and SRAM Eagle quick links are non reusable. Once you open it after being installed on the chain, you should not reuse it. It won't hold very well, as well as it, as it will for the first time. This is the KMC chain with the KMC quick link. When you don't have the R for reusable letter at the end of the model of the quick link, it's different on the, on the chain then that means it's not reusable. It also has this additional groove right here for the non-reusable quick links. And this is the Rode, also 11-speed KMC chain with the R at the end and no groove right here. This is reusable quick link. Let me show you how it looks like on the KMC manual. Simple. All right, you're guessing the third mistake. What is wrong with this chain? Every 30th person who is replacing the chain by themselves, they do it like this. And you should already see it. Little help here. You can spin the cranks, you can even shift. No problem. What's wrong? Is it clear now for you from this side? You can still spin, you can still change the gears, but this tooth, if you will, on your cage, it prevents the chain to actually fall off the cage, fall off those jockey wheels and so the chain should be inside of it. It should go above this uh, tooth right here. So the chain should go with a straight line from the, this uh, upper pulley to the bottom pulley. And it's wrong. Yep. Check it on your bike. How to fix it without opening or breaking the chain. Step one. Step two. Step three, step four, step five. Uh -huh. The mistake number four is putting the directional chain in the wrong direction. Some chains are directional, especially Shimano chains, and they have the outer side and the inner side. All those logos and signs and model signatures 
should be on the outer side and nothing on the inner side. You see, this is the left or the inner side with no symbols, no letters. That means this is the directional chain and it's put in the proper way. And you guessed it, if you put the directional chain in the wrong direction, it will be shifting, it will be working, but not as well as when you put it in the right way, which I've seen on a couple, at least a couple of new bikes. The right side, the outer side, the left side, the inner side of the chain. It's time for a small experiment and the mistake number five, which is leaving your wet chain, especially in the moisturous place for a couple of nights. We're gonna do it this one. Okay. And after two days, come on. This is how it looks like after two days of being wet. This one would make maybe 300 miles. Oh, I'm sorry. The last mistake is a wrong chain shake. When there's so much grime and dirt on your chain, it might be okay to make a chain shake, but just don't do it too often because remember, by opening and closing the even reusable quick link, you are simply wearing it down. So do it only when it's really needed. And be aware what you are putting into that jar. The Shimano manual says never use alkali-based or acid-based solvents such as rust cleaners. This works. Mm -hmm. And the seventh mistake is putting the new chain on your bike without actually cleaning it. Yes, without cleaning it. There's lots of lubrication on it. Lubrication? Lubrication on it. And if you at least don't give it a good rub from the outside, it will attract dirt like, mmm, it will love the dirt. In that way, you would actually wear down your chain and the sprockets much quicker. And I think that would be it. So some of you are writing to me, Danny, why does my chain only last for 300 miles? Is it possible? It's, it, if it's only 300 miles, that means you've done something wrong. I do at least 10,000 miles on the chain and even much, much more because I do take care of it. Um, my chain is also always mud proof. You know my method, link in the description. And yeah, and that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.